Auto Line at CES is brought to you by ETAS, Gentex, Intrepid Control Systems, Magna, and by Yazaki Innovations. Mariella Manutolo with ETAS is here to tell us about the latest developments at CES. Mariella, take it from there. What do you have here? Yeah, we have the DevOps cycle here. So you know that software today is developed in the DevOps um, way, in an agile way as well. And what we are showing here is how do we uh, accelerate the DevOps cycle for our customers. So, so what, you're simplifying the process? Yeah, or we're making it more efficient. Um, if you know how the industry works um, today, it's a lot of people working together within the companies of OEMs and tiers, but also working together. And that process is a little bit complicated in software. It's not so easy like the hardware part that we are used to. Well, you've got some visuals here to help explain it. Now, yes. What do we have going on here? Yeah, you see, um, this is a red DevOps cycle. Um, if we go through the vehicle in the different domains, there is a different speed on how we develop software, from embedded software in the ECUs to the software in the cloud. And that means that we help our customers to accelerate that. And I will push the button now, and you will see how this helps the customers to accelerate with solution in the different areas of our product fields to make that in that part where the car is now going on faster. It means we need to bring together software from different domains and develop that in the same pace and doing that over time again and again, being able to update, to operate and everything together. So the car is zipping around on the track here is a good visual for it, but, but at a at an automaker or supplier, how would that physically work out? Physically, we are supplying, for example, platforms where we can ensure that the collaboration between different domains within the company, but also with tiers, is working smoothly. You know, in the embedded world, for example, you wait for months until you get the uh, result of different developers, then you merge it together, and then you find out something is not working. And then it takes you weeks or months to find out who did the mistake and where does it come from. What we're doing now is enable that every day there will be updates on what co was coded. It, it's checked if it works together, and then you have the uh, result on the end of the day to analyze and recover your mistake if there was something wrong. So is this something that's debuting at CES or is it already out there? It's already out there and we are also showcasing this on our booth and on the booth of AWS, Amazon Web Service, together because... Oh, so explain that. Why yeah. AWS? Yeah, because we are, uh, we are a great fan of collaboration and we think nobody in this industry can do it on their own. So we need to bring the best things together and you need an infrastructure on the cloud so we are not a cloud provider, we don't do that. But we now put our solutions into workbenches that AWS creates for the customers in their environment. And we also help to integrate that with different solutions from also third parties for the customers. So that means we bring together the best solutions that customers are already using, but in the cloud. So that is really collaboration in the next phase. So, uh, can you give us some examples? Uh, here's the car zipping around. Uh, what, what kind of accelerated product development can take place with the approach that you're talking about? Yeah, for example, what we're showcasing is um, the middleware. You know, that is the glue between the ECUs. You uh, have to communicate with all the different um, ECUs in a vehicle. And this one is now brought into the cloud and how we develop that is also done in the cloud. So our developers are able to do that on a daily basis in the cloud. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. What else can you add or am I missing anything? Yeah, so if you look at our DevOps cycle, then you see also that there is security on that. Where is it? Um, here, automotive cybersecurity. So if we have an accident on the cybersecurity front happening, then the vehicle in this uh, example will stop immediately because something was corrupted and you need to stop the development and you need to check so what So it catches a mistake in instantly? Yes. And then you have to So work. you don't discover it way down the road? Yes. So that's the, that's the plan. <laughs> Let's put it like that. If uh -huh. you integrate the solution, then you are able to do that. 
Excellent. And so these are the different things, uh, yes, middleware, is... data acquisition, Diagnostics. Diagnostics. The service integration, so basically the operation. Mm -hmm. And this is what I told you earlier. We help in projects our customers to integrate different solutions. So it's not only ETA solutions that we are bringing together because we know our customers are already using services and software pieces. So we try to integrate that to their best uh, case solution. Excellent. That's great. Can you tell us who's using it? Well, well, your no, customer, I your, cannot your, yet. That's tell a secret. You. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. it's, it's still that new. Yeah. It's they, still they know it's a competitive advantage, and they don't want yes. you giving that away. But the good thing is, uh, what we're showcasing at CES is that we have an SDK out there on the AWS cloud, and everybody who is using AWS as a cloud provider can download it and can test it. Very good. Ariella, thanks so much for bringing us up to speed with what Etas is doing here. Thank you for having me. Thank you. At CES January 9th through 12th, 2024, Intrepid's looking forward to seeing you at our booth 3666 Las Vegas Convention Center in the West Hall. We'll be demonstrating the latest and greatest in the software-defined vehicles and zonal architectures, automotive Ethernet technologies like 10-base T1S and multi-gigabit. See you at CES 2024 Las Vegas Convention Center in West Hall booth 3666 or visit intrepidcs.com sales.